Hurricane Ian strengthened early Tuesday into a major Category 3 storm as Florida and Cuba braced for strong winds and possible floods. The hurricane made landfall just southwest of the town of La Coloma in the Pinar del Rio province in western Cuba around 4.30 a.m. ET, with maximum sustained winds of 125 miles per hour, according to National Hurricane Center. A hurricane warning is in place for the Cuban provinces of Isla de La Juven II, Pinar del Rio and Artemisa, while a hurricane watch was issued along the west coast of Florida from north of Englewood to the Anclote River, including Tampa Bay. A number of counties along Florida's west coast issued evacuation orders ahead of the storm's arrival. Ian is expected to bring 6 to 12 inches of rain to central west Florida, 4 to 8 inches to the rest of the peninsula and 4 to 6 inches to the Keys through Thursday. More than 20 000 line workers are standing at the ready to work on restoration efforts as Hurricane Ian threatens to bring widespread outages, Florida Governor. Ron DeSantis said. Speaking at a news conference Tuesday, he said hundreds of generators and pumps had also been sent to areas expected to be hit, along with food and water supplies. DeSantis called on residents to follow evacuation orders as he told those able to remain in their homes to get those supplies that you may need to deal with what's going to happen over the next few days. As Hurricane Ian barrels toward Florida, significant impacts on the state are just about certain, with the forecast looking more ominous for Tampa, specifically, in terms of rain, wind and storm surge impacts. Major hurricanes often wobble and even a 10-mile wobble could make the difference between a Tampa-area landfall versus Sarasota in the final 24 hours, 